Good evening, staff, parents, and students. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. We wanted to follow up with everyone in reference to the one question survey we sent out regarding whether or not you would consider taking a COVID-19 test on campus, meaning at the school. We wanted to reiterate why this is important. Number one, we would like to add an additional layer of protection at the academies, hence the need for on-site COVID-19 tests. Number two, we want to help limit the transmission and outbreaks of COVID-19, both in the community and at the academies. Number three, we want to save staff and parents a trip to urgent care or your doctor to get the COVID-19 test. Number four, we want to remove the burden of continuously paying for a COVID-19 test for both staff and students. Number five, we want to help keep staff and students in the building safely. The results from the survey were very promising. Parents, 75% of you said that you would consider and allow your child to get tested. 25% of you said no. For staff, 93% of you said you would get tested on campus or at least consider getting tested on campus, where 7% of you said no. As a result of these numbers, we worked with your Board of Education to finalize the policies and procedures. We also worked on ordering and have received COVID-19 tests on site. They are currently at each of the academies. I want to share a quick short story with you regarding COVID-19 and these tests. Just the other day, we were able to provide one of our academy's varsity soccer team COVID-19 tests on site due to the fact that one of the players had tested positive over the weekend. Within 15 minutes of each of these tests, we were able to know whether or not these players contracted COVID-19. In the end, all 11 players who had no symptoms tested negative and were able to go to their game that day. That is the beauty of being able to test on site because you get instant results and know what to do next. So what is next? In the next few days, your child will come home with a consent form. Parents, please take a few minutes to review the consent form. And if you're okay with it, please fill out the information sign and make sure you put it back in your child's homework folder or in their backpack so they can return it back to their classroom teachers. If you are not comfortable, and we understand that this could be a little uneasy for some of you, you do not have to uh, complete the form nor sign it. Just send it back and note on the form that you do not consent. However, please note that if your child is found to be a close contact, they will need to get tested, if not quarantined, for seven to 10 days. Again, we want to continue to add layers of defense against COVID-19. On-campus testing is a great way of limiting the spread and outbreaks of COVID-19. I urge all of you, parents and staff, to really consider this as a great tool to have on hand that will save you time, money, and provide a peace of mind. Thank you to the, all the team members and the Board of Education for working together to make this a reality for our communities. As always, your health and safety are our number one priority. More information in the upcoming days will be shared to you by your building principal. Enjoy your evening and always stay safe. Thank you.